Home Remedy Myths Debunked. Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to be updated to future health-related videos. Now let's start. For people looking for a great way to avoid doctors and ensure that they stay at top health it can seem like a really great idea to start looking for home remedies. It is extremely important though to realize that not only at home remedies sometimes much more effective, there are also times when they are just too good to be true. If you find yourself trying to decide if a remedy is actually possible or not, it is very important to start looking to see how feasible a remedy really is. For each home remedy that does actually work, there are also several home remedies that are nothing more than myths. The home remedies that seem to use dangerous ingredients should always be carefully analyzed. For example, if you come across a home remedy that tells you to drink battery acid to rid yourself of a stomach ache then you should be extremely suspicious of the source. Most people are able to exercise a good amount of common sense, however, there are times when it can be extremely difficult to tell if a myth is actually real or not. There are plenty of other mythical home remedies as well, for example, it is often associated that butter makes a fabulous way to reduce the pain of a burn. In reality though, it can actually make it worse. Most people tend to just have a mental perception that the burn is less severe, but for the majority of people there is no improvement or worsening of the condition by using butter. One of the oldest home remedies tends to be associated with nosebleeds. How many times have you heard someone say to tilt your head back if you have a nosebleed to stop the bleeding? This is often spread around and is incorrect. A common variation of this myth involves leaning forward and placing the head between the knees. Regardless of which variation you have heard the most, these are both extremely common amongst those who are unaware that the blood shifting in a very unnatural direction could actually cause you to suffocate. For those who are extremely active you have no doubt experienced a shin splint at some point. This is extremely common amongst dangers and also athletes who run excessively. If you find yourself in this position, you may have heard that the best action to take is to simply run even more to actually reduce the pain that is caused. This however is grossly inaccurate. If you instead take several days off and provide your muscles with ample time to rest you will typically have much better results. Everyone at some point in their life has likely been stung by a bee. This is a tragedy that occurs almost every summer for most people. In order to avoid all of the complications that can be associated with dragging the pain out much further you should avoid squeezing the stinger. This is in distinct contrast to what most likely should be done, rather than digging around the bee sting with a pair of tweezers of another sharp instrument you should rather start trying to scrape the stinger out. This would allow you to actually remove the stinger without squeezing the venom out any further. A final home remedy myth that is often misunderstood is about snake bites. Many people believe that you should remove the venom immediately after a bite even if you need to suck the venom out using your mouth. This is something that is extremely dangerous and can lead to a huge problem. If you are not careful, you could speed the venom spreading around the body. In reality, it is extremely important to never move the snake bite any more than possible. It is also very important to seek medical help as much as possible. Trying to suck the venom out as recommended in most home remedies tends to increase the amount of bacteria in the bite, which will only increase the risk of infection. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.